A recap of what happened in the world of marijuana stocks this past week and a look ahead to how the cannabis industry will continue to develop in 2022. So this piece is relying on this, stock, uh, this uh, piece reading on Schaefer's investment research. This is written on Friday, it was written on Friday the 20th of May 2022. So you find a link to this and you read it up for yourself. So moving on and starting with um, SNDL, this is uh, kicking off for the week. Sundial, Sundial Grows SNDL released its financial results for the first quarter of 2022 on Monday the 16th of uh, May. Highlights include a 78% increase year over year in quarterly net revenue following Sundial's acquisition of Alcana Inc. for $255 million. According to SNDL, in quote, we are now Canada's largest private sector distributor of both liquor and cannabis with 354 retail locations. Sundar stock jumped over 20% on Monday as a positive reaction to the earnings report. However, Sundar stock is still down nearly 45% over the past 12 months. So this was that spike on Monday the 16th and got the resistance from its 20 day moving average and since that time it has uh, been printing lower lows yeah. so moving on to FLGC FLGC let's see what that is that's uh, flora glow flora growth flora gl growth the company announced the appointment of Holly Bell as Vice President of Regulatory Affairs. Bell's focus will primarily be on domestic and global expansion, um, including international government relations. Flora growth stock is down 61% year over year and has dropped 20% over the past month. Later in the week, Vessel, the marijuana accessories brand under Flora, uh, launched a partnership with Ricky Williams and his cannabis lifestyle brand, Hing Heisman. The collaboration's first product is a one hit accessory featuring Heisman branding. Flora is down nearly 60% year over year and has dropped nearly 30% over the past one month. So, yes, you can see how this FL, how, how FL, FLGC has been trending pretty much start sideways but of late it has uh, now began to trend even lower so in the line the underlying trend for flgc is a bearish one so the next one is uh intercure limited that is incr let's type it in incr so incr or Intercure Limited re released its financial results for the first quarter of 2022 on Monday the 16th. INCR reported uh, record setting quarterly revenue of $34 million, which is almost triple the first quarter of 2021. Intercure stock is actually in the green year to date, up 16% since January 1st. Okay, so that's the slight uh, difference from what we have seen from other ones. So let's move on to a I mean K E R N K E R N that is uh, uh, Akana Akana Inc. So Akana announced an engagement with uh, GMP Securities in an effort to fully evaluate strategic alternatives, which will lead to maximized stakeholder value, according to K E R N. In, in quote, we are confident in our ability to capitalize on the strength of our business and we remain intensely committed to our clients, our team members, and all other stakeholders. Akana stock is currently uh, trading down 88% year over year. You can see that strictly, totally, and unrelentlessly, uh, or, or relentlessly bearish. So, moving on to the next one. Innovative Industry in, Innovative Industrial Pro Properties Inc. IRPR. IRPR. Let's get it here. It 
innovative, innovative industrial properties in, in cannabis real estate news IRPR acquired 1,400 1,000 1,104,000 1, square foot industrial property in Massachusetts for $40 million. This this property is fully operational as a regulated cannabis production facility, IRPR, concurrent with its uh, with this purchase, signed a long-term lease agreement with with a tailed holdings uh, ink subsidiary. So innovative industrial property stock is down for the five percent just since the beginning of this year 2022 you can see that that's what the case is it's also strongly bearish as well getting resistance from its 10-day uh, moving average but um, it's quite an unusual one also trading in triple digits okay so move on to ICANN next healthcare I I IXHL IXHL I XHL I can I can next health care so uh, it is one of the newest cannabis stocks on the market as of the 1st of March the company announced a pre investigational new drug applic application with the FDA as the US FDA focused on the development of IHL 42x which uh, Juna Binol and acetazolamide with the goal of treating obstructive sleep apnea in adults since IPO since its IPO I can next uh, stock has dropped 40% let's see what's going on there it has been trading for a long time so the next stock is uh, Green Lane Holdings, GN, GNLN. Green Lane, Green, Lane, Green Lane Holdings, the company released its financial results for the first quarter of 2022 this week. This past week featuring 37% increase in quarterly revenue year over year. GNLN attributed a majority of its revenue growth to acquisition of uh, Koshko. The press release didn't do much to boost Green Lane stock, which has lost nearly 90% of its value over the last 12 months. You can see um, this the chart evidently uh, points to that 90% drop over the last one year. So we'll move on to the next one. The next one is ACB. And that is Aurora Cannabis. Aurora Cannabis announced that it has received EU, EU GMP certification for its medical marijuana production facility in Germany. According to ACB, um, in quote, as a leading provider of medical cannabis in Germany and several other European markets, they, they are eager to, or rather we are eager to accelerate patient access to high quality, reliable cannabis produced in accordance with the, part, with the most stringent uh, criteria. Aurora stock, however, is trading down 60% year over year. You can see that. The chart evidently also points to that, but it's currently trading above its 10 and 20 day moving averages, but still below the 50 day and the 200 day moving average. So the next one is um, GR WG that is uh, Crew Generation Corp. GRWG Grow Generation Corp. So the company announced it will begin selling Drip Hydro, a liquid fertilizer for commercial growers and select stores. Grow Generation stock has fallen nearly 65% since the beginning of 2022. Okay, so and um, it's been dropping since uh, the last one year as well. So moving on to the next one, Leafly Holdings Inc. LFLY. 
So Leafly announced the launch of its online cannabis delivery services in delivery legal states throughout the US on Mon on Wednesday the 18th of May. So delivery orders can be can be placed on the Leafly app or through the company's website. This major announcement links Leafly's string base. So this major announcement links Leafly's straight database, user reviews, and delivery services into one convenient platform for customers. According to LFLY, uh, in quotation, by adding the ability to place orders for delivery, we are combining our expertise and deep content catalog with a new layer of convenience for consumers. Leafly remains committed to expanding options and access for consumers brands and retailers through new features like delivery. It's one way we support the regulated cannabis market in California and elsewhere. Leafly stock is is a, lit, is in, is a little less in the red this year than its uh, cannabis sector counterparts, tapping in at a top of just 8% year. It, uh, tapping in at a drop of just eight percent year to date. So it's just down only eight percent this year. So at some point this year, it was also at its fifty-two week low. You can see that it was at five point seven three and has continued to make progress. Made progress up till uh, the up to early this month. You know, since since that time it has uh, now dropped. So this is a stop to observe and see what's really driving it. So LFLY, okay. And there must, there must be something uh, interesting about it, so we'll probably cover uh, cover it uh, separately. Or, you know, give it more coverage. So move on to the last one. Um, the Lemur, uh, Lemurian Inc. Lemurian Inc. is uh, Lemurian Inc. and Canopy Growth Corporation. Let's see. CGC. So, the Morian and Canopy Growth announced the execution of a definitive agreement that will provide CGC the right to acquire up to 100% of its outstanding capital stock for approximately $69 million. This agreement is contingent on the federal legalization of THC in the United States. According to CGC, in quote, Canopy Growth is building a house of premium cannabis brands with a focus on the core growth categories that will power the market's path forward, now including uh, Lemurian, a pioneer of uh, solventless vapes. Canopy Growth stock has taken a beating over the past year, currently trading down to 5% year over year. You can see that. Evident, evidently that is the case so see what you make of all that has happened with uh, these canopy canopy stocks over the past week and uh, thank you very much for watching this video